I've been using the ranch products for I, I guess five years now. And I can remember the first LaRanch unit I got. It was actually in a top 12 cut that I made on Eagle Mountain Lake. And I was so far behind the times without the mapping capabilities, without the things that LaRanch allows me to do, it has made me such a better fisherman. One of the biggest things about the LaRanch HDS unit with the structure scan is just simply the fact that it gives you a competitive advantage. I got to get in on the early phases of it and the biggest thing about it is it really takes understanding your electronics and understanding what you're doing with your electronics to the next level. You know, we used to have to interpret what we were seeing. You know, used to with just standard sonar, when you saw something on the sonar, it wasn't always what you thought it might be. But now with the structure scan, especially the down scan, I mean, if it's a cedar tree, you can tell it's a cedar tree. If it's a rock pile, you can tell it's a rock pile. And that's probably the biggest thing about structure scan that is really making the difference. Um, everything about structure scan gives you just that next step above what most other anglers aren't seeing. I'm a structure fisherman. I fish offshore. I'm not up there beating the bank. And one of the biggest things that helps me is being able to basically set a safety contour which what it does is it highlights a contour line in the lake. Say for example, you know, the fish are less than 10 foot of water, I'm gonna shade my contours so they're shading like a six foot depth. But if I get to the point where I'm catching fish a lot deeper, you know, the easiest thing to do is just go in here, go to settings, and then I can actually shade my contours to a deeper level right here. And what that does is it basically takes the contour lines out even farther. So when I'm running around the lake looking for a specific depth zone to fish, this makes it so simple. You can just go from point to point, from ledge to ledge, and it's all right there in front of your eyes. Last week at Gunnersville, I mean, it was a crucial tournament. There was a lot of good fish being caught. And the fish had really gotten out a lot deeper this year than they normally had. And one of the big keys this year at Gunnersville was the fish were, were on, you know, solid bottom areas, you know, wherever you had rock piles, something that protruded on the steep ledges. I was able to actually see a rock pile that protruded out off of a little ledge, and it was the key to me catching, I think I caught three of the biggest fish, you know, three over four pounds off of that one particular rock pile just through the course of the week going back. I would actually throw a buoy, you know, once I marked it so I could definitely keep track of where it was, the wind was blowing, there was a lot of current, and that was probably the biggest deal this year for me is the Gunnersville tournament just, you know, last week, and, and like I said, I think I caught like a 6-3, a 5-12, and probably another one a little over 4 pounds, and that was definitely the key that, that got me through the Gunnersville event. I fish vertical a lot. I, I like to go over what I'm fishing and then fish what I saw. And the biggest thing with down scan is I can actually interpret what I'm seeing. Now, used to I was trying to interpret, you know, reading the sonar, what I thought I saw, but now there's no doubt about it. And since the Elite Series, you know, has been in existence, I've won three Elite Series tournaments. And the thing about Lawrence is they've definitely given me the edge that I need to compete.